Jerusalem is a city of faith, especially now. A convergence of Eastern and Western calendars that only happens three times a century has caused the holy days of the three great faiths in the city to overlap. Hundreds of thousands of Muslims throng to the old city, eager to reach the Al-Aqsa Mosque during Ramadan. Nearby, Jews renew their connection to the Promised Land as Passover begins this week. Steps away is the Christian Quarter, where Holy Week is in full swing. It's Easter season now, so Christian pilgrims are coming from every nation to visit one church, this church, the holiest church in the entire world. Let's go inside. The Church of the Holy Sepulcher embodies Easter like nowhere else, built around the very places where Christians believe Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose again. Archbishop Isidoros has served here since 1991. Where are we going first? We're going up to Golgotha, the crucifixion, where Jesus Christ crucified. The crucifixion site. Under the holy altar, exactly where the icon, there is a hole towards the cross of Jesus Christ stood. This hole, can we, can we touch you, it? You can go inside, you can put your hand inside. That's a, a great privilege. <laughs> this is the place, the anointment stone. After the crucifixion, they put the body of Christ in this stone to wash, to pre prepare before they buried him. So people still now are rubbing their rosaries or, or just their hands on the stone where Jesus' body was washed in order to receive a blessing from it. The last stop on our tour is Jesus' tomb. This is perhaps the most special place in Jerusalem, certainly for the Christian community. This is, this is the tomb. Exactly, exactly the place where the Christ buried and resurrected. Do you still have a unique feeling when you come into this place? Of course, this is the center of our religion. Three faiths offering their prayers at the same time in one small city. Wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm back, and you saw that stone where Jesus' body was prepared for a burial, mm -hmm. and how people were putting their objects, some people mm -hmm. were putting their own jewelry there, mm -hmm. and leaving it on the stone. There's mm -hmm. also oils that they put on it. So I did the same thing for all of you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, they sell oh, these kidding. actual <laughs> rosaries in the church, and I put them on. And even if you're not a person of faith, or even if you're not yeah. Christian, oh, yeah. I think objects of real spiritual value yeah. uh, have a universal appeal. Oh. Absolutely. Wonderful. And everyone, you know, can can use it. I know you've had serious back problems. Yeah. And yes. Your daughter. Yeah. And you've had a health scare. And I know you're a person of faith. So I brought one for each wow. of you. Wow. So photograph so and a photograph of the rosary on the stone. Oh my gosh. Kidding. Yes. Proof. Richard, yes. that's so thoughtful. Oh my God. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll Especially at this time of the year. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. That was beautiful. That's Richard. incredible. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Wow. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.